Stars fans gave Diamond back for another installment of Plays of the Week. A road weekend for Texas started with a short trip to San Antonio to renew hostilities with the Rampage. On Friday, January 27th, the Rampage defended home ice and went ahead with a strong first period. Former Texas star Greg Rallo scored early, but back-to-back -back goals in the final two minutes of the first period had San Antonio in control with a 3-0 lead. Josh Fisher has the call on ESPN Austin from the AT&T Center. Arson absorbs the hit in the corner. Tied up by Timmons. Puck still in the near side corner. Now worked left point. Wind up in a blast by Caruso. Hit off traffic and run they score. So Michael Caruso makes it 2 to nothing. San Antonio at 18.09 of the first. Ten seconds to go in the period. Larson back for him. Lost it. Matsumoto right circle. Drop off and score. That's Michael Repic. Well, the one-time bang in the beauty, his fourth goal of the season with just under five seconds to go on a first. The second period started out much better for the Stars. Tomas Vinsor, playing in his first game with Texas since November 19th, picked up right where he left off. Former Rampage member Angelo Esposito set up Vinsor's 11th goal of the season. Pass picked off of the Texas blue line. Fortuna sends it back the other way. Foot race. Gromit Morris out the play. Chopping it away. Esposito center. Front shot score! Texas takes it away on a bad turnover in the rampage zone. And Tomas Vinsor tallies for the seventh straight road game for Texas. The Stars have trimmed the lead by two at three to one. As you heard, goals in seven straight road games for Vinsor. But before Texas could get any closer, the rampage's Jonathan Matsumoto scored a key goal to make it four to one. Out of the far corner, controlled. Rapic behind the Texas net. Looking in front for Matsumoto, shot score! Jonathan Matsumoto at 7.09 of the second period has picked up his 17th goal of the season and given the San Antonio Rampage a 4-1 lead over the Stars. Down by three, the Stars responded. In the waning minutes of the second period, Texas cut the deficit to 4-2. Now Garbutt sauced it to the slot. Dillon, left circle for Spang, right side, cross ice, pass tipped in front, they score! Angelo Esposito got a piece of that one, and front of the rampage net is Ryan Garbutt with a launch shot for the right circle. The goal was eventually credited to Ryan Garbutt, but Texas would get no closer. A pair of third period San Antonio goals made the final 6-2, breaking the Stars' three game win streak. Next up for Texas was a road game against Western Conference leading Oklahoma City on Saturday the 28th. This one was a decidedly defensive battle with both goaltenders shining. Andrew Raycroft was brilliant in net for the Stars and frustrated the Barons multiple times in the second period. Chorney will collect and drop it off right wing corner for Josh Green. Right wing circle, ring wall, back door, feed Arcabello on the doorstep. Beautiful save made by Raycroft. And now the puck in the left circle, Arcabello played it in front, another save made by Raycroft as he took one away from Cornet. The goal line actually came on, shouldn't have, but a nice save there made by Andrew Raycroft. Raycroft registered a season-high 42 saves in the game. The Barons, however, did manage a goal late in the second and led 1-0 heading into the third. Then, 36 seconds into the final frame, Oklahoma City struck again. Here's Watier chasing it down. Cornet left wall, giving a ride into the wall there by Watier. Pucked it up left circle, quick shot, they score! Right circle shot by Ryan Keller. So that's a 36 seconds into the third. And so Texas finds itself in a two to nothing hole. The Stars were down, but not out. Halfway through the third, Texas got new life from workhorse Francis Wattier, who scored his ninth goal of the season. Worked right back up through center, right side, Vinsor to Connolly, over the line, slipped it. Wattier left circle, shot, score! Texas is on the board as the Stars cut that Barons lead in half at 2-1. to one. Beautiful shot on the left circle by Francis Wattier over the left shoulder of goaltender David Lenebu. The Stars pressed for the equalizer but couldn't find the conversion. The Barons added a late empty netter to make the final 3-1. After that game, it was time for some all-star festivities where a couple of stars shined. At the AHL level, Texas winger Matt Brazier scored a shootout goal, helping the West win 8-7 in the shootout. And at the NHL level, former Texas star and current Dallas star Jamie Benn 
won the accuracy competition in the All-Star Skills Challenge. Back to the grind once again, Texas travels to Houston on February 2nd, then hosts the Charlotte Checkers this weekend on February 4th. Tune in live to these games with Josh Fisher on ESPN Austin, 104.9 The Horn, 92.5 FM, or worldwide online at ESPNAustin.com. I'm Gabe Diamond, and these were your Texas Stars Plays of the Week.